All right, everybody, thank you for joining me for my Men in Black reaction. It's my first time watching this film, and I'm stoked, so let's get into it. This is a pretty epic intro with a mosquito. Okay. Rip Thorn. Is that somebody's name? Rip Thorn? What a badass name. It's like Lance Uppercut or Trent Steele or whatever. <laughs> oh, look out. Oh, <laughs> I thought for sure it was going to splatter. Aw. Goddamn bugs. What's going on here now? Oh, is this one of those things where they try to drive people across the border? Yep, it's a roadblock. Got to serve some jail time. Oh. We'll take it from here. Division 6. Division 6? I never heard of Division 6. What are they doing? Is one of them wanted or something? <laughs> oh, throwing out insults. I'll break your face and you're ugly. Sorry, you can't just... Don't. Sir, me, young oh. man, you have no idea who you're dealing with. <laughs> okay, using his intimidation. Seemed to work. Keep on protecting us from the dangerous aliens. Oh, protect us from the dangerous aliens. Okay, so it's not an illegal alien. This is like a legit alien. Oh. Your honey, say, hide stuck, Political refugee, right. <laughs> he looks awesome. Really? That was a robotic head? He seems peaceful enough. Oh no, he's seen it. Oh, Frank, what does that mean now? Why'd he go hostile the moment he was spotted? Has he got a ray gun there? <laughs> Blue blood? A freaking disintegration ray now? One shot evaporates him into a mist. I like it though. What? Was not human. I know. Oh, looks like you got some entrails on you there, pal. Give me your attention for a moment. I'll be glad to tell you what happened. Yeah, how are you gonna explain this one now? <laughs> it's called a neuralizer. It's a gift from some friends from out of town. Oh, that's good, fellas. Yes. Give me a display burn around the perimeter. Yes, I see memes of this of wiping your memory with a men in black stick. Okay, I was like, why did that look so familiar to me? But that was my god, I haven't seen that meme in a long time. Who are you? <laughs> That's it? That's all it takes? You're lucky to be alive after a blast like that. Underground gas main, genius. Get yourself checked out with EMS on the other side of the hill before you leave. Wait, hold up, hold up. All he's got to do is flash. They forget it all. And then he can put a new story in their head and then they believe it? And as always, if you want to watch along for the entire length of the film, that'll be available on either my Patreon page or as a YouTube member, which you can click down below. You will need your own copy of Men in Black to sync up with the timestamp and watch side by side, but otherwise it'll be awesome. I'm sorry about back there. What happens? The spirit's willing, Kay, but the rest of me, the stars, we never just look anymore. He's getting too old for the job, is he? He said his spirit's in it, but his body ain't. I will miss the chase. No, D, you won't. <laughs> What? You gotta wipe an agent's mind as well? <laughs> You'd be wiping out, like, their entire life. In order to get them to forget that, wouldn't you? And how to do just jump off that and land on his feet? He's gotta be another alien. Okay. Hitch a ride, why not? Ooh, cut him off. Nice! N-Y-P-D means I will knock your punk ass down. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, freak. Where he pulls on him? Oh, well, that alien seems pretty agile. It doesn't have any super strength, though. So is this the premise of it? There's aliens living in secret amongst humans? And the men in black gotta take care of them? Oh my god, look at that. Brigadette Heeshin climbing up. Oh yeah, you're screwed. You ain't catching him now. Oh, he ain't giving up. <laughs> you're really gonna... Man, by the time he gets to the roof, that guy will be out a couple buildings away, won't he? What's up? He's coming. He's coming because I failed and now he'll kill me too. Who's he? Your world's gonna end. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey. He looks sadistic. Touch the oh. At least don't land on the people. Oh, I'm liking this already. I freaking love aliens anyways. And the fact that we got aliens living amongst people and they're like, oh, it's inevitable. The world's doomed. I would love to see you know, fall in my life. <laughs> I'd be willing to lose my car for that to happen to me. Projectile weapon. You can have my gun when you pry it from my cold dead finger. <laughs> it's 
unacceptable. <laughs> oh, snap! What was that? It was like a giant cockroach with a weird looking hand. I only got a quick glimpse of it. Oh. Wait, no. It sucks out all your innards and leaves just your skin? That one didn't look anything like... Oh, because the other one was using a robot. Oh, my. <laughs> Gonna take a minute to adapt and blend in, because he looks like a friggin' zombie. Look at him! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's real natural. Edgar, what on earth was that? Give me sugar. More. The sugar, eh? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Your skin is hanging off your bones. Your skin is literally hanging off your bones. Uh, is that better? Oh my god. I'd fade to. <laughs> Wouldn't you? <laughs> that was gross. That's what he came here on? That little tiny UFO? You mean blinked with both eyes? No, sir. He blinked one set, then he blinked a completely different set. Why is it that none of the other officers saw either of these two? Well, sir, some of the other officers are a little soggy around the midsection. <laughs> Couldn't keep up with him. What the hell are you talking about? I am half the man that you are. <laughs> you know, I think he threw him off the roof. So I really, maybe oh, you meant to go. talk to you. Ten minutes, go. you take the test. <laughs> was man, the same team. What's going on? Not at all. I believe you, Laurel Weaver, deputy medical examiner. Oh. Find me at the Morgan Twenty Six. I'll show you. Oh wow! So much for that meeting at the morgue. There were gills, not eyelids. Guilds, he was out of breath. Yeah, he said the world was coming to an end. Did he say when? Oh, Would you recognize that weapon of his if you saw it again? Absolutely. Not yeah, wiping his memory, he needs to use him for right, intel. Good work, Edwards. That's double time. Look at the power and the sway he's got. Got the police chief now in his pocket and everything. He right, oh, right, because he wiped wipe his mind and then tell him what happened. Buy some chain snatches. He doesn't even sell guns. Really? Get here. I thought I'd turn this into the proper authority. I'm talking about guns, <laughs> smartass. <laughs> Why don't you show him the imports, Jeeps? Show him the imports right now. Okay. I got out of that business a long time ago. Get I'm going to count to three. He'll do oh, it, Jeeps. One. Why don't you get a massage? Take a cruise. Oh. Drop the weapon and put your hands on your head. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. I got him. Oh, here we go. Mr. Edwards. Mr. Edwards just shit right his pants. The one in the middle. Boy, James, you piece of shit. It looked all right to me. Oh, no, God no. damn it, James! Oh. Stop oh. it! No! I want you on the next transport off this rocker. I'm going to shoot you where it don't grow back. And I'm going to be back to talk about them Rolexes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. You're going to get your mind wiped. No, yeah, you got a lot of explaining to do. Either that or he's just going to wipe him. It's my promise that tomorrow morning you won't remember a thing. Oh, here we go. You see one of these, son. <laughs> they wiped his mind. Just like that. Oh, whoa. He's out of it. Did it not work on him? Who are you? Need to lay off the sauce. I'll oh. see you bright and early. Nine o'clock. He's giving him an MIB card? Oh, they're going to recruit him, I guess, hey? Why would they wipe him then? Oh, just so he don't freak out overnight and go telling everybody or something like that. But maybe he'll still show up right in, and they can we? recruit him. Think we own the place? No, oh, this guy. <laughs> just what exactly do you think you're doing here? You're a hell of an infestation. You know, I've noticed an infestation here. Undeveloped, unevolved, barely conscious pond skull. <laughs> He's talking about humans. Don't you want to get rid of him? Oh, no. Oh! oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a. I thought he like impaled him, but no, he just stuck the tube down his throat and filled his lungs up with that poisonous gas. I bet. Oh, buddy, it ain't big enough. I thought he was gonna take that body then. Thought he was gonna switch bodies. Okay, he showed up. Oh, that's some AC right there. Look at that. I need that for this room. Yeah, this dude gave me this car to the elevator. Right, because he needs a new partner because the other guy retired, right? The old guy retired, got his mind wiped, so now he needs a new partner. I like it. You're late. Sit down. My name is Zed. I like the egg chairs. You're only here because you're the best of the best, and we're looking for one of you. Just only. one. Uh, why exactly are we here? We're here because you're looking for the best of the best of the best, sir. Oh, wow. <laughs> What a kiss ass. Boy, Captain America over here. <laughs> but he's just really excited and he has no clue why we're here. <laughs> you gonna get kicked out right away? 
you saw like you recommended this guy. This is how I felt in uh, college. Actually, no, I did pretty good in college, but high school. Oh. <laughs> they couldn't even give him a desk. Awkward and uncomfortable as possible. Maybe this is one of the challenges. See if they can think outside the box. <laughs> oh, that's so loud in my earpiece. There you go. Wanna get down on this? Use some common sense, right? I like it. Why is he not shooting? Heard a single shot. Edwards, what the hell happened? I need to serve to die. Oh, well, she was the only one that actually seemed dangerous at the time, sir. What? Well, first I was going to pop this guy hanging from the street light, just working out. And I noticed he had a tissue in his hand. I realized, you know, he's not snarling. He's sneezing. You know, eight-year-old white girl, middle of the ghetto, this time of night with quantum physics books. She about oh. to start some shit, Zed. Ah, uh, there you go. That's some quick perception. To be honest, I'd appreciate it if you eased up off my back about it. <laughs> or do I owe her an apology? <laughs> Be too late for that. He did it right. That was an alien in disguise, right? Let's hope you know what you're doing. I mean, he's athletic and he's just a bit headstrong, right? His head's a bit, uh, what? He's got too much ego. Congratulations. You're everything we've come to expect we from have you. one more test to administer. An eye exam. Oh, there we go. Hey there, fantastic folks. We have a YouTube membership program. When you're a member, you're in for a world of perks spread amongst three exciting levels. First up, the Cinephile level. You'll sport a cool loyalty badge by your name with its color evolving the longer you stay with us. Plus, enjoy access to unique emojis I've crafted. As our channel membership grows, more slots will unlock, letting me create even more fun expressions for the comments. But that's not all. You'll also have priority replies to your comments, so we can dive into deeper movie discussions. The next level is the Silver Screen Enthusiast. Be ahead of the game with early access to my new videos before they hit YouTube, and be amongst the first to watch and leave your thoughts. And here's the kicker. Unlock access to my full-length, unedited movie reactions called Raw Cuts. Just sync your own film copy with my timestamp and watch alongside me. These Raw Cuts feature only my webcam and audio, there's no movie audio, and very limited movie visuals. The Golden Reel VIP Level which will allow you to experience watch-along style raw cuts, not just for movies, but also for series that I watch on different streaming services. So click that join button down below and join our exclusive group of channel members, and now let's get back to it. Yeah, they're all done. Where are you going? Oh, here we go. Test device. We'll administer the eye test. Everybody thought the agency was a joke. Like said there were nine of us the first night. Okay. Seven agents, one astronomer. Man, I'd love to meet aliens. They were a group of intergalactic refugees, and we concealed all the evidence of their landing. Uh -huh. The World's Fair was just a cover-up for their landing. Why oh, I like it. Look, he don't believe him. Come on. Still skeptical. Man, thank you for you some coffee. You want some coffee? No, thank you. I'm fine. Oh, here we go. You'll believe him now. He's <laughs> 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 That's it. The best way is to show him, right? Most of them are decent enough. They're just trying to make a living. Humans, for the most part, don't have a clue. They don't want one or need one either. They're happy. But why, why the big secret? People are smart. They can handle it. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous Ooh. animals, and you know it. The catch. The catch. You will sever every human contact. Nobody will ever know you exist anywhere. Oh, why the thing to give up? Is he single? No family? No kids? I'll give you the sunrise to think it over. Wow, it's a big decision to make. But hey. how, could, how could you look back? Is it worth it? Oh, yeah, it's worth it. But what do you think, though? Do you think society would collapse? There's all this UFO stuff in the news lately and everything. Do you think society would collapse if they knew there was extraterrestrial life out there, right? Would all the religions in the world collapse? Would people go mad? I don't know. I think that's what a lot of people say would happen. That's why they're slowly trying to get us used to the concept of aliens instead of just being like, yup, they're real. <laughs> Buddy got this sweet job, man. How does he know he's not in disguise? Maybe an alien took his body overnight. And I don't want nobody calling me son or kid or sport or nothing like that. Call your skills. Ooh, okay. They mean precisely dick. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what he's walking into. Oh, they got aliens on the payroll. I like it. I guess we did see some in the break room, so. But it never clicked with me there. Oh, what do we got here? He's grouchy. So who pays for really? all this? We hold the patents on a few gadgets, so we Velcro, microwave ovens, lip suction. Really? That pays for all this? Hey, what's this thing? Oh! oh. 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 What'd you do? 
Bounciest ball ever. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Dude. Dude, he oh. flinched. Barely flinched. Caused the 1977 New York blackout. Caused a blackout. <laughs> I can see why. If you don't have the glove, you can never stop it. Meet the twins. And Bob. This map shows the location of every registered alien on Earth, and everyone on those screens is an alien. Is that Stallone? Well, no, it makes perfect sense. But I knew our teacher had to be from, from like, Venus or something like that. <laughs> be quiet and pay attention! Oh. The last suit you'll ever wear. So I assume if you're in here, you're not allowed to have a relationship, get married. From now on, you'll have no identifying marks of any kind. To leave no lasting memory with anyone you encounter. You don't exist. You were never even born. Would you give that up, everybody? Would you give up your identity? That's a good uh, We are the men in black. You know what the difference is between you and me? <laughs> I make this look good. Oh! <laughs> I knew he was going to say something cool in classic Will Smith fashion, but... Holy oh, buddy. <laughs> Learning how to drive. Oh, wow. He's rotten. <laughs> he looks like he's like constantly constipated or he's like crapping his pants or something. Uh-oh. Well, we got a skimmer. It's not clear to leave Manhattan, but he's way out of town right now. Why don't you take Junior here with you? This is a good Junior. one for him to warm up on. He didn't want to be called that. Yeah, but what do you say to the boss, right? Who's around in a Ford P.O.S.? <laughs> Why not? P.O.S. Fasten your seat, Bill. Oh, it's what's under the hood. <laughs> Whoa, the torque on that. That's it. You make it look like a normal, casual car that could just blend in. You got alien tech under the hood. I like it. This guy. Why is he following this other guy? Oh, dude, it's huge. Holy crap. I was going to get you off the bus. This cat is making so much noise. So if you're hearing noise in the background, it's because of this little guy. Look at this. <laughs> He's real blending in real well here. Oh. Oh! You tracked him down just to kill him? Oh, to get that device. Okay. So those in there having dinner were aliens. Called them a, your majesty and everything. And now this is a different alien, a rogue alien. Okay. We got different alien factions at work. I like it. License and registration, please. It's my wife. She's... Well, look. Oh, wow. Oh. You come with me, Reg. And, um, and you handle this. to an alien baby? What? Oh, what? Me? No. No, it's easy. You just catch. Just catch. Well, as a police officer, you might have to be in this situation. Oh. <laughs> Something's peeking. Proactive missile. Oh. Madison, you're getting oh. down. Just well, catch? We're meeting someone. It caught you. Well, it's an emergency. What the frick is this? Is that coming from where I think it's coming from? Off the planet, all oh. <laughs> And he got sucked in! <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, he let him go. Where'd the big tentacle come from then? The mom? Oh, wow. Oh, no! Gross! What a first day on the job. Happy. These are the hot sheets. Best investigator reporting on the planet. Can I believe you're looking for tips in the supermarket tabloids? Ooh. Found. Alien stole my husband's skin. There you go. Really, that's the real news. Those tabloids that you always see in the supermarket that are just ridiculous. Can I help you, gentlemen? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm Special Agent Mannheim. Nobody believes her. Well, I can't blame her. But that story like that. Took a police report and written down everything I said. Okay. Started poking fun at me. It's like something was wearing an air. Like a suit. Did he say anything? Really? All right, Beatrice. Swamp gas from a weather balloon was trapped in a thermal Swamp pocket. Swamp gas. Life. Will you just make up a new one? A standard issue neuralizer. And that weak ass story is the best you can come up with. <laughs> Edgar ran off with an old girlfriend. So decide you're better off. Oh, there well, you yeah, go. Well, yeah, you know, because he, he never appreciated you anyway. You know, Dude, find that's somewhere the way to do it. Get a facial. Uh, oh. At least she'll be happy. Hire a decorator to come in here quick. <laughs> Don't leave her all depressed, right? You might as well make it seem like, okay, she's powerful, she's in charge. If you're going to give her a false memory in life, anyways. Let's give her a happy one. Dad, we have a bug. They consume, infest, destroy, live off the death and destruction of other species. Whew. He's terrassing around Manhattan Island in a brand new Edgar suit. Does that sound like fun? Nope. What's the move? With the bug in town, we'll watch the morgues. Well, watch the morgues because enough people will die, then you gotta backtrack it. I like it. What's the problem with the cat? It's your problem. Oh, God. <laughs> I hate 
Eat the living. Well, you're in the right line of work then. She must come across some crazy things, but then before she gets a chance to tell anybody, they wipe her memory. Oh, buddy, what are you? Dr. Leo Mandel, Department of Public Health. This is Dr. White. Carefully, ma'am. Tell me, do you have something unusual around here? All right, I'll have a look at this one. Dr. White, why don't you and Dr. Weaver check out the other body? I started with the lesser curvature of the stomach, but we could start with the gastroesophageal junction, whichever you prefer. Uh, let's start wherever, wherever you started at. <laughs> <laughs> Suit up, get your scrubs on. You're a doctor, play the part. You have really pretty eyes. Oh, wow. Coming on to them. Notice anything strange? Stomach, liver, lungs. Nope, all fine. <laughs> doctor, they're all missing. Oh, you know, that, that's obviously the first thing I noticed somewhere. That oh, sure. my God. Have we met before? You're talking out of your ass. <laughs> I'm having the strangest feeling of deja vu. Oh, wow. So there is a little bit left behind. I like to do sometimes when it's really late. Oh, here we go. Hello. Dr. White. Oh, Timing! What does she like to do when it's really late? I want to know. What do you think? Queen of the undead thing going to the body. Great body. The dead body. <laughs> oh. There's something? Oh, wow. What the hell is that? Oh. oh. What the frig? <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. It's so small. Contest. What? Struggle. War? Orion's belt. Bed. Orion's belt. Okay. Oh, no. That would have been a cool character to have around. To prevent war, the galaxy is on Orion's belt. Isn't Orion's belt just like a... I've heard the term before. Is it just like a star formation? Aliens are not going to like this. This guy was one of the royal family. New York. The other oh. day, I was in this cabin. No, they're not wasting their mind again. Damn, man. You did the flashy thing already. Have a look at this for me, please. Would you stop that? <laughs> How many times is she gonna get flash in her life? Okay, have you ever flashy thing me? No. I ain't playing with you, Kay. Have you ever flashy thing me? Totally did. Lying right through his face. Come on now. That doctor needs to get in on it. She knows a lot of stuff. Right, yeah, we got exactly. Two aliens and a deputy medical examiner needs a new memory. Don't Make it memory. a happy memory. There you go. Yes, by well, you might as well, since you're wiping her mind every other night when a dead alien body comes in there. It's kind of cruel, man. Memories are like, is what makes you you, and they keep wiping them out. He don't care about the diamonds, he wanted something in the container. Okay. It's a grouping of the brightest stars in the northern sky. Right. And here's Orion's belt. Junior, there are no galaxies on Orion's belt. The belt heard wrong. Well, whatever, man. I know what I heard. It's a riddle or something. Something you gotta look deeper into, right? Who are you spying on now? Okay, buddy. Oh, well, she looks to the sky. Was that his wife? Well, well. Pretty lady. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, come on. Loosen up a little bit. So you were the guy in that picture you showed me with the flowers. So what, she ever get married or anything? No. There you go. Try it. He's all serious. He's like, don't be prying into my personal life. Oh. What is that? That's an Archelian battle cruiser. Okay, give the kid a weapon. Oh, okay. They're going to war. Or they're going to try to prevent a war, but... Wouldn't you see a ship that size from the ground? Maybe not. That's what I'm talking about. Noisy cricket. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. Series four, if you my right, I get a little, little midget cricket. Look, oh, could you I feel like give I'm gonna him? break this damn thing? <laughs> <laughs> could you have given him a smaller gun? Pew pew, pew 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 pew. Oh my, what do you call it? The noisy cricket. Dude's on a rampage looking for that stuff. So he tracked down the two people in the restaurant in order to get that little case. He opened the case, what he wanted, it was not in there. So now he's looking. Cat got a big old thing. Looks like a little globe or something around its neck. Make sure you tell him that down at the impound. Oh. Please. The attitude. But he got a gun pointed at you, just like show him yours. Like, he, but he can still pull the trigger on the shotgun. It's a hard tow truck, man. This cat. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, that little thing got that much kick? 
It's gotta be hard to aim something that small. Dude, <laughs> that, the kickback on that gun is awful. You ain't got time for this cover up bullshit. Alien battle cruiser about to. There's always an alien battle cruiser or a Carillion death ray. The only way these people get on with their happy lives is they do not know about it. Whew. He's not leaving town. We got his ship. Oh, great. <laughs> she stuffed it in there. I'm sorry, little end grades. Where are they going? Where are they leaving? With all their cigarettes and friggin' <laughs> luggage? We've only translated part of the message so far. They're holding us responsible. Deliver the galaxy. What is the galaxy? Must be what he's at. The city morgue! Is that necessary? Come on now. Some light reflected uh, off of Venus into, into some swamp gas. What made the, really? Uh, <laughs> that was the thing. They used to cover up UFO sightings back in the day with swamp gas. I remember that from a documentary I watched. Whoa, look. <laughs> what? Now that's the worst disguise ever. <laughs> that guy's definitely an alien. You don't like it, you can kiss my furry little butt. Right that's the alien? Wow, get your Not the Call guy the that looks like death? No, no, no. Uh, Not a thing. <laughs> he was the guardian of a whole galaxy. Oh. They thought he'd be safe here on Earth. The bugs buggy. get their slimy claws on it, kiss the Archelians goodbye. Rosenberg said something about a galaxy on Orion's belt. What's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Animal <laughs> abuse. The galaxy is here. What? When are you going to learn that size doesn't matter? Just because <laughs> something's the size of a marble or a jewel. <laughs> The galaxy's here. It's not on the right. Okay, they they're radioing down, saying that they want the galaxy back. The galaxy must be that thing that's on the cat's neck. Oh, and he's connecting the dots here okay. now. And because that's why cockroach guy is going after trying to find a cat. There you go, right there around the cat's neck. Oh, we have Orion around the collar too. Yeah. No, it's an actual galaxy. I like it. <laughs> We're getting into some Ant-Man level stuff now. Going into Quantum Verse. <laughs> this guy. This guy's awesome. He's the freakiest looking character ever. A man came in here earlier. I believe he had an animal with him. A pet cat. It means worlds to me. Okay, I'm gonna need a picture ID, written proof of ownership of the cat. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do it. Oh man. Oh, those are bugs coming from him. <laughs> he totally got killed. She don't need you flashing away half of med school classes. Exactly. Five minutes. Two minutes. Where's the animal? I told you I don't know. Well, let's see. Uh oh, here we go. As soon as he sees him, it's on. Does he still have his noisy cricket? How you doing? Hello. A uh, cat came in with a corpse the other day. Uh, Orion on the name tag. Yes, that's right. Well, I don't know where the cat is right now. Oh, you don't? Maybe you could take me with you instead. Oh, wow. No matter what, she got to keep hey, flirting you, with him. <laughs> she just wants to get out of there. Trying to make it seem natural. There's something I need to show you. Mm. Take the well, hand. girl, you ain't got to hit the gas like that. To see this. Oh. oh I will, I will. Oh, oh God, one thing. Settle down. I got to drive. Oh, no, what's he doing? Oh. Okay. Dripping ooze from what? Oh. Help me with. Okay, okay. Oh, no, he's got the cat. Thick. Look, how was I supposed yeah. to know? What did I have to do? Sing it for you? <laughs> that is so typical. Anytime a woman says that, oh, here we go. Here we go, shit eater. Oh, listen, monkey boy. I'm on the top rung of the evolutionary ladder. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet it. I bet you are. Pull the wings off a fly. You can't see the fly bit even. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Don't bet on it, meat sack. No! Oh my god, now she's a damsel in distress. And he wasn't taking that hint though, was he? He's just like, yeah, girl. <laughs> like flirting so much. Oh, take me here. No way. Oh. Okay. Freaking monster in the car. No. He just swallowed the galaxy. <laughs> You recognize that as a cat? He don't run. <laughs> oh yeah, so many cabs in New York. Oh, oh, oh. He's not leaving the planet in a cab. Let's go. What do we have Getting for our friends upstairs? Now. Same thing, deliver the galaxy. Oh snap. No, they're centering the guns. 
They shot him. What? Shoot what? Us for? I'm in a warning shot, and then we have a galactic standard week to respond. What do you shoot? One hour. One hour. Then what? <laughs> and he obliterates the planet. Oh, wow, they got some strict us. laws. <laughs> Sucks. They don't even panic at all. I guess they've been here before. Use your head now. Come on, use those street smarts you got from being a NYPD cop, right? Good at thinking outside the box. Old guys. <laughs> here you go. Do those you still go. work? The cockroach guy wants him so he can get off planet with the galaxy. Now I get it, because that was the postcard. Okay. Good thing he noticed that. They would have spent the next hour trying to track down things to search everything. Remember the little red button? Push the little red button. Woo! And you may want to put on a seatbelt. <laughs> Is it becoming the Batmobile? <laughs> Ooh. Yes, keep your seatbelt on. Ooh. And none of these people are seeing this thing? Right? No, Elvis is not dead. It just went home. Oh, come on. Elvis. Elvis was an alien? Like, I'm sure people are seeing this. Oh, my God. Hand-eye coordination on that guy. <laughs> Good war. That means more food for my family. Also. No! Oh, my God. I think she caught the dream. Being taken away to another galaxy by a cockroach alien. Then again, the plants are about to get obliterated. Bro, just check in. Check out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> now he's packing. Let's hope it don't have the same kick as the cricket, though. Oh, wow. They're too late? He's flying away. But... Just shoot the damn thing on the camera. Can he bring it down? There you go. You just better hope you don't destroy the galaxy because you got to return it. Coming in hot. Oh, of course. Smash right through it. Ooh. Oh, cool visuals. I like it. It's coming straight for us. Don't even flinch. <laughs> How badass are they? Oh, you idiots! <laughs> it's over! You're milk, sucker! And step away from your busted ass vehicle and put your hands on your head. On my head! Okay, where's he going with this? Oh, oh we're gonna get to see its true form? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god. It's easy at that. I swallowed her guns. Keep him on this planet. I'm gonna get my gun back. <laughs> what? How are you gonna get him back? Slimy, gut sucking, intestinal parasite. <laughs> Wait. What? What's up? What? He's what? Run, huh? Where are you going? This party just getting started. <laughs> He got eight so he can get his gun back. Was he gonna blast his way out from the inside? Let me tell you something. He looks cool. There's only one way off of this planet, I baby. like it. All of that creature was compacted into a human body, hey? There you go, stab it. Oh, actually, if you stabbed it through the guts, you might have hit your partner. Right? There you go. Whatever you do, don't let it get on the next ship. Oh, fuck. This is almost just like the um, Independence Day film, isn't it? Will Smith with the aliens. Oh. Why well, she got like a hive mind with all the other roaches? I'm sorry. Roaches. I mean, that's your uncle then, huh? Oh. Ooh, piss them off now. It's working. Nuts. Oh. <laughs> oh, looking dead on your face. Maybe it's about my face for something bad happened to you. Ooh. Too late. Gross. He was able to hold his breath that whole time. They got it. But can they give it back in time? Victory, everybody. Call the Archelians, tell them we have the galaxy. Oh, what? You know, first I, I, had to, I had to beat him in the head. But how was there another one? Oh. You know, I was like, ah, with the fire. Why was there one creeping in the back? <laughs> Interesting job you guys have. <laughs> Why was there a second one? If they don't explain it, where did a second bug-like creature come from? I don't get it, but either way, you guys can fill me in in the comments down below. That'd be awesome. What, who's she gonna tell? She ain't out with all dead people. It's not for her, it's for me. What? They're beautiful, aren't they? Stars. Wait, is he retiring now? Beautiful. You're frightening your partner. I haven't been training a partner, I've been training a replacement. Oh, wow. I cannot do this job by myself. My apartment isn't anywhere near here. 
She's pretty calm considering she just killed a giant cockroach. What, you can choose how much memory to erase. How are her suits all clean again? She's over there leaning on the car waiting for a ride home. Still dirty from the encounter and these two got perfectly clean suits. No. See you around there. You're not gonna do this. That's cool though, passing the torch. Man awakens from 35 year coma. Oh, and she waited for him that whole time. He's finally happy, look at him. But can Jay accept the responsibility here? He did pretty good in this one. Hey Jay, Zed called. The high consulate from Salaxium 9 wants floor seats for the next Ooh. Bulls game. Oh, he's got a new partner. Oh, all right. Comment down below. I think there's more. There's a two, a three, and then like an international, isn't there? They're all good, or is this one of those series where only the first one is good and the rest suck? I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know if you want me to do more. Inside of a marble? Imagine if our galaxy is just in a bag of marbles. All right, everybody, that was a good laugh. I enjoyed that. It was like an old film, but yet at the same time, it was just new and fresh for me. It had a lot of cool, unique ideas. I liked it. If you like it, be sure to hit the like button. Watch one of my awesome videos. Subscribe, all that fun stuff. Peace and love, everybody. I'll see you later. All right, take care.